The Book of the Damned, by Charles Hoyfort, Chapter 25d, Nature, Volume 40, page 415, that, August 5, 1889, following a violent storm, an object that looked to be about 15 inches long and 5 inches wide, fell, rather slowly, at East Twickenham, England. It exploded. No substance from it was found. Lonnie Scientific, 1864, page 54. That, October 10, 1864, Monsieur Lebrier had sent to the Academy three letters from witnesses of the long luminous body, tapering at both ends, that had been seen in the sky. In Thunder and Lightning, page 87, Flammarion says that on August 20, 1880, during a rather violent storm, Monsieur August Treckel of the French Academy saw a very brilliant yellowish-white body, apparently 35 to 40 centimeters long, and about 25 centimeters wide, torpedo-shaped, or a cylindrical body, with slightly conical ends. It dropped something, and disappeared in the clouds. Whatever it may have been that was dropped, it fell vertically, like a heavy object, and left a luminous train. The scene of this occurrence may have been far from the observer. No sound was heard. For Monsieur Treckel's account, see Comptes Rendus, Volume 103, page 849. Monthly Weather Review, 1907, page 310. That, July 2nd, 1907, in the town of Burlington, Vermont, a terrific explosion had been heard throughout the city. A ball of light, or a luminous object, had been seen to fall from the sky, or from a torpedo-shaped thing, or construction, in the sky. No one had seen this thing that had exploded fall from a larger body that was in the sky, but if we accept that at the same time there was a larger body in the sky, my own acceptance is that a dirigible in the sky, or a construction that showed every sign of disrupting, had barely time to drop, whatever it did drop, and to speed away to safety above. The following story is told, in the review, by Bishop John S. Michaud. I was standing on the corner of Church and College Streets, just in front of the Herd Bank, and facing east, engaged in conversation with ex-Governor Woodbury and Mr. A. A. Buell, when, without the slightest indication, or warning, we were startled by what sounded like a most unusual and terrific explosion, evidently very nearby. Raising my eyes, and looking eastward along College Street, I observed a torpedo-shaped body, some 300 feet away, stationary in appearance, and suspended in the air, about 50 feet above the tops of the buildings. In size it was about 6 feet long by 8 inches in diameter, the shell, or covering, having a dark appearance, with here and there tongues of fire issuing from spots on the surface, resembling red-hot and burnished copper. Although stationary when first noticed, this object soon began to move, rather slowly, and disappeared over Dolan Brothers' store, southward. As it moved, the covering seemed rupturing in places, and through these the intensely red flames issued. Bishop Michaud attempts to correlate it with meteorological observations. Because of the nearby view this is perhaps the most remarkable of the neutral apes. But the correlate now coming is extraordinary because of the great number of recorded observations upon it. My own acceptance is that, upon November 17, 1882, a vast dirigible crossed England, but by the definiteness and definiteness of all things quasi-real, some observations upon it can be correlated with anything one pleases.